reason, the reason, the reason, the reason. The reason people tell you to do what you love to do is because you're going to have to spend a lot of time doing this shit. So if you just get a job, wash dishes, you don't love it, you're going to hate it because you're going to spend a lot of time doing it because you want to you make some money. So if you fuck around and do something you love and it just so happens to pay money, man, it's going to pay off two times. You're going to get paid and you're going to be learning and building experience in what you love to do. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's true. Yep, that's true, that's true, that's true. So yeah, that's what time it is. Loving what we do and doing it all day, every day. My homeboy Tater Bug Baby told me a long time ago, if you not waking up doing this and having this shit on your mind, boy, you bullshit. Some of the great advice I got from him. You not waking up with this shit on your mind and doing this shit every day, you bullshit. That same day he told me that. I went to the studio and did a good record. I was already going anyway. But this just was in the conversation we was having. And uh Did a hell of a record that day. I get that dough. Do you get that dough? Cause I get that dough. I get that dough. Do you get that dough? Cause I get that dough. I get that dough. That was the record. This shit was jamming. But you gotta do what you love to do, man, because you're gonna have to spend a lot of time doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't just fly by night and just come up with some shit and boom, that's it. Maybe you do, but it's not gonna lighten don't strike in the same place twice. Plus, this is a career. We're not just trying to just do something real quick. We are gonna do this shit forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So I, I love it. And I find different things to love about it. It's, the music will never get boring to me. You know, I listened to the Lil John Salt Shaker record yesterday and heard them hi hats in there. He got it bouncing from one speaker to the next speaker. It's like the left, and then it's right dead in the middle, then it's in the right, and it just, you know what I'm saying? Just different things. You always gonna be learning something with this music. You never ever gonna know everything. It's always something new to do. It's always something new to try and experiment with. We always trying to come up with a new way to 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 invent the wheel. All we doing is creating wheels, shit that roll. And we're just trying to find a new way to do it. A fun, a new fun way to do it. Because it can get boring doing the same thing over and over again. So you have to find ways to keep it interesting and make it fun. If it's fun for you, it's going to be fun for the people who listen to that shit. My music is fun. You can hear it. It's serious too. And when it's serious, it, whatever mood that I'm giving you, you're going to get 100% of that. Because... With me being a producer, I'm making the, the beat and I, I'm putting the emotion in the beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting that shit in the beat while I'm making it. And it's nothing better than that feeling when it feels good. When it feels good and it makes you smile and it sound good. Oh my God. It's enough to make you. It's better than sex. It's way better than sex. It's way better than sex. Man, that is a wonderful feeling. Because you know it's going to work. <laughs> you know it's going to work. And it feels good. Words really can't even express the feeling. Or explain what it is. Words will only make it mediocre. It is a wonderful, phenomenal feeling. I love it. I L-O-V-E-I-T. And I be in the studio looking for that. And once I tap into that magic, I stay in it. I stay in it. I stay in it. I stay all the way in the feeling. Because that's how you get the most out of the feeling. That's how you get the most out of it. Being all the way in it. All the way in it. And I'm all the way in it. All the way. Ha, 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 ha. 
So I fuck around to get that feeling and I try to make as many beats as I can. But we're writing it's the same kind of feeling, but it's different. And it's channeled different than it is production. Production is channeled one way and, and writing is channeled a whole nother way. So it's two different channels. Two different channels. But both of them are very productive channels. Very productive. Hey man, the stress will make you tired, man. Arguing with somebody? God damn, that shit will make you tired, man. I don't got time for that. I am not arguing with anyone. You make me mad, we're going to fight or we're going to fall out or we're going to talk about it to resolve it or I'm just not going to deal with you. Whatever, man. Whatever we got to do, you know. But, man, I don't want to be upset. I do not want to be upset about nothing. When I get upset, I, I do my best to channel it through music. Oh, sometimes I'm I'm just a pout motherfucker though. Sometimes I'm just a pout motherfucker. But I try my best to hold on to that anger, ball it up and hold on to it. And internalize it for fuel for what I want to do with music. You know, I try to do that instead of being self-destructive, doing something that'll make me go to jail or harming myself. Fuck all that. Fuck that. You know, fuck that. Fuck that. We're gonna. I'm channeling my shit to fucking music. You know, somebody pissed me off that I, you know, rarely can't see like that. You know, or talk to. I don't have a relationship with them like that. They do some bitch ass shit. And uh, depending on the situation, maybe I, um, we fight about the shit. Or if we can't fight and talk about the shit, I just internalize the fucking anger and use it for fuel. Use it for fuel, depending on the situation. But, you know, people piss me off in the world all day with dumb shit. And I'm not going to be able to fight all these motherfuckers. So I have to use that fucking anger to my benefit. And that's all anger is. Anger is just a, a vehicle to get you what the fuck you want. You got to know how to channel anger, though. I ain't trying to call nobody. Damn phone. But yeah, you got to learn how to channel your anger. I channel my shit through fucking music i hold on to it and that shit just i let it i use it as creative juice and determination that's how you got to do it that's how you got to do it man but anger is a vehicle to get you what you want you know what i'm saying because anger and sadness all of these are extreme emotions when you tap into them and you can wallow in either one of them for a long time depression so if you going through these episodes, you have to program your mind with some positive shit while you going through it so it can pay off for you. If you feeling sad, just keep saying in that sad ass tone, just keep saying, I'm somebody, I'm somebody, I'm somebody, I'm somebody, man, I'm just somebody, man. Man, I'm just somebody, man. I'm just the number one rap. Oh, whatever, man. I just made a hundred thousand dollars today. Damn, I just hate I made a hundred thousand dollars today, man. I just made me a hundred thousand. I'm just, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life, man. I just made a hundred thousand. That's some old sad, depressed ass shit. But you gotta program it like that, you know? And when you fucking mad and angry, I got a hundred fucking thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta program that shit, man. This is real shit. This is fucking for real. All these emotions, you have to use that shit to get what the fuck you want. Don't use that shit. For, for negativity Use it for positivity Your body naturally goes through these things Anger Depression Sorrow Excitement Joy All of this shit You going through a whole cycle Through the whole cycle You gotta be a master of your thoughts and your mind And channeling that shit for positivity Yes Positivity Why does that make sense for a musician? Cause you're gonna be going through a lot of shit all of these people gonna be talking shit to you and you're gonna hate yourself sometimes but hell no motherfucker fuck them 
Love yourself at all times. This is how you program it right here. I just told you how to do it. Whatever emotion you're going through, you keep you a positive footnote to go along with it. Because thoughts are reality, man. Thoughts are reality. So what the fuck you thinking is what so the fuck is going to be. So always keep you a positive footnote. Make you a positive footnote that you can always run to when you going through these fucking emotions and feelings. If you keep you a positive footnote, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. You're going to be good. But yeah, man, love what you do. Love it. Love it. And be all be all in it. 100% all in it. Slap dab right in the goddamn middle of it. And love it. Do it all day, every day. Peace.